Hi guys, today's video format is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be vlogging, yay, but um, I'm going to try to keep it short so I don't take up too much of your time. Anyway, today I thought it would be fun to show you my morning routine with my chinchilla, Pandora. She's very cute right now. So basically, I'm going to show you what my morning routine looks like and what it's like to be a chinchilla owner. So I usually wake up at 7am and I come downstairs to check on my chinchilla. She usually sits up here and she just sits there and does nothing. No matter how much I touch her, she just sits there. So if your chinchilla does that, let me know because it's kind of weird. So as you can see, her food bowl is pretty empty. So I'm going to get some more food and fill that up. About, about this much. And I'll just put it in. Um, so this is how much I give her. Not too much. I don't want her to overeat. The next thing I do is refill her hay bag. She's probably going to come out right now. Um, yeah, she's, she's definitely going to come out. But I'm going to refill her hay bag. So I come here and her hay is all in here and I just grab a bag. All right. See, she's coming out. She's coming out. <laughs> okay, goodbye. <laughs> the hay bag is over there, and I'm just gonna put the hay in the bag. This is what the hay bag looks like. There is hay down here, but that's just like the hay that's fallen out. Um, so, as you can see, she's eating the hay right now. Every day after I put the fresh hay in there, she just immediately goes there and eats it. Um, she loves the fresh hay and I love watching her eat the fresh hay. It is very cute, isn't it? Very cute. Very cute indeed. Do -do 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 -do. I know, she loves hay so much. Today I'm gonna change her potty. Um, so basically you don't have to, this is not a requirement, but I just have a potty for her to pee in. As you can see, there are like dark spots over there. This is because um, well, obviously she peed there, um, but she still pees around the cage. Like she has like a little pee spot over here that she can pee, but she mainly um, does it in here, which is good. It makes the cleaning a lot more easier. If you want to see how I manage to potty train her, I will also link that video down in the description. All right, so I'll be taking this out. It's really heavy. So I'm outside right now, and um, what I usually do is I just chuck it out. Like, it's fine. <laughs> that is basically good. I'm happy with that. I'm going to refill it with this pelleted pine. So I usually just put about this much and I'm just gonna put this in her cage now. We are back inside. Hello. And I'm gonna put the potty back into the cage. So here's what it looks like. It's all nice and clean now. The next thing I usually do is to sweep the cage. As you can see, it's very dirty. Just put her back. She's a little cutie. Um, of course, we can't forget to clean the top. It's usually not that dirty, but I still clean it anyway. Um, so the next thing I usually do is um, to refill the water and also take out the trash at the same time. The reason that I put this mug over here is because sometimes this leaks. So that's why I put this here to catch the water if it drips. Let's take this off. And I usually also take this with me because it can get dirty inside and I just want to rinse it all out. Let's go. So now we're at the sink and I'm just gonna pour this water out. Yeah, and I'm also going to clean this because it's kind of gross inside. 
I usually just rinse this out and then just grab a paper towel to wipe it dry. Okay, so at this stage, I'm nearly done with... Next, I'm just gonna pour the trash out. All done. I'm gonna fill her water bottle with... So when you're filling this with water, you need to make sure that you have filtered water or it's really unhealthy for your chinchilla. Like this tap, this is the unfiltered water. You don't wanna have this, you want to have this. And I'm just gonna fill it up right now. I usually don't fill it like to the very top because I know she can't drink that much in a day. She usually drinks like this much in a day and I fill it up every day to make sure she has fresh water every day. Now to screw the top onto here. All done. Okay, so at this stage, I'm nearly done with my morning routine. I'm just putting this back. And you can't forget about the water bottle. So I'm putting that back as well. They are back, all nice and fresh. So at the end, if I find there's like not that many toys in there, I'll usually toss a couple. I'll just toss a couple of toys in there for her to play with. And yeah, so, so she can have some toys to play with during the day. And um, I like to scatter them across the cage so she can find them everywhere around the cage. Yeah. And today I'll be giving her these rose hips. I only give her one. You can't feed them too many treats. Just interacting with her so she can have some form of contact with me. Um, just one, that's, that's all she can have for today. And there we go, the cage is all clean and I continue the rest of my day. Um, I always let her out for playtime during the night since that's when she's most active. But this is all I do during the morning. And that's gonna be all I have for you today. I hope the vlogging style wasn't too weird for you. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe and click the notification button. I post every Sunday. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week with a brand new video. Bye!